Hello, Comanche Native here, and yes, we are checking out Gilman Lumber Mill in Fallout 76. Now, I am at this location right here. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at both facilities. I think we're going to check this... Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, get away. I think we're going to check out this building over here to the left and then we'll go ahead and go to the right. Now both facilities are kind of separated by a fence. There's a fence here. Kind of separates the two facilities but the fence is not solid. As you can see there's a lot of holes in here. Now it's weird because you know you do have a gate I guess it's just to open and close. That's that's it. That's that's kind of weird how it opens really quick like that, but there's a lot of holes in the fence and I think some of the fence is kind of torn down. It's not complete at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump up here and get a better view of this place. We're going to go ahead and go into camera mode. Take a better look. Right. Now, there are a couple of vehicles. There's like one, two, three trucks over here to the left side of this facility and then it looks like a loader truck back there now over in this direction though I mean take a look at this you have the robot which is a lumber ro robot going back and forth in this open field I think this is still attached to the lumber mill and these robots are doing an efficient job cutting this stuff up. They're going back and forth and I think there's another robot somewhere over in that direction. Now, will these robots help you if you are being attacked? I, I honestly do not know. I don't know if they will attack monsters who are attacking you. Now right here, this is a decorative thing, this right here, this crane. You can't really get inside, you can't do anything. And I just honestly think it's just there to look nice. Okay, we are going to go ahead and go inside the main building. I consider this the main building because honestly I think this over here is just... Um, kind of like a, a shack so let's go ahead and, and go inside and get a better view of this place now I'm gonna try to go slow I'm gonna be in third person view as well as first person view I do not want anyone to get motion sickness that's the thing now I noticed that some videos that are in first person view it does cause that and I don't want that to happen but let me go ahead and save the video. I'm back. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll try to go slow. I don't want to go really quick and, and move the camera around. I don't want anyone to get sick, especially me. I, I, I would hate that. I say that and then I spun around really quick. Okay, so we have a vehicle out here. Vehicles over here. The main yard. I hear somebody. Oh! <sighs> Oh, those ticks. And there's someone here. I don't know who that person is. Again, it's just another player. Now, I, I did say that this was going to happen. We were going to be in, in certain locations and then someone will show up. Okay, let's check this place out. We have a large toolbox here. And we have some wood that you can gather. 
There's a dumpster, another dumpster. Ooh, that was, I'll take that. Um, it doesn't look like anything else over this way. And then we have wood out here. I don't really see anything else. Now, can you set up camp here? You probably could. There's a little bench over here. I, I think you can't really sit down in it. It's just kind of like broken up. Now, I'm just going to assume this entrance here is sort of where you load the lumber in. Then again, it could just be uh, a building that might have busted open. I don't know. I have no idea. That person is level 44. But yes, there's a lot of wood here that you can collect. Let's go ahead and go on the other side really quick. We have some stuff over here. We have some Salisbury steak. I'll take that. Fire. Um, grill that doesn't do anything. You can't really do anything with that. Again, a decorative item. That, that, that place right there. We have some wood pile here. We have another wood pile there. I think that's it. Now, there's nothing in the vehicles. I, I've checked. I pre-checked these vehicles. There's nothing inside of them. They're, they're just empty. They're just kind of like for show. It doesn't look like there's anything over here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go inside the main facility. Alright, let's do this. Oh, I still hear somebody. Running around collecting stuff. Now, when I was here, this little bench right here did have some stuff in it. Again, a player is already here, and they're kind of like, they're jumping around, destroying stuff. Like a lot of stuff. Um, why? Honestly, I don't know. I notice that the high levels seem to be kind of bored in the game. And I guess it's something to do. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and go upstairs. Now, I'm not quite sure if there was anything here. I know you could jump on the roof if you, you jump up on this rail. And then up here, you can jump on the very top. There's nothing on the roof. There's absolutely nothing on the roof. Yeah, it's just... You know, that. There's nothing too much. Let's see if I could get into camera mode again and get a better look inside. Oh, hang on. I always have to turn this off because it kind of blurs if you keep it on. Well, it looks like the roof has just collapsed and said forget it I don't want to hold this up anymore now there are some chests over here and there's some more chests on the shelves and it looks like the wood splitter machine has grabbed a hold of a victim and killed them he, he just does not look like he had a good day and he's dead. Um, over in this direction, we do have another chest. Right here, there's some items there. We have a tinkerer workshop right here. Uh, again, another chest over there to the right. We have a med kit on the wall in that direction right there. There's some tools hanging up. Again, there might have been some more items here, but, you know, clearly a player has already gone through here and grabbed what they wanted. 
And again, you're going to run into that. You're going to run into a lot of players just jumping in, going into the place, because it is an open world. But I hope I'm giving you guys a really good view of this place. And I'm trying my best to give you a good camera angle. Okay, now that we looked at that, let's go ahead and go inside. Let's go back down this way. Whoa. Okay. Now, I'm not quite sure if there was anything in these boxes here. I'm, I don't know. Kind of comes across this railing right here, and, and you come across this guy right here just hugging his plant or fern. It could have been maybe a bonsai tree. I don't know, but um, yeah, he, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to die. I'll just stay here. There is a beer bottle with a note and a hatchet some buffet that you could take we have some wood and I think that's it I think that's it I think that's it for him okay the entrance way on top is right here kind of goes around this area here there's nothing up here like this is it you know, I like to picture these areas when they're fixed up and how they would look. I think that would be kind of cool. Just checking it out. You know, I mean, everything here is just destroyed. It's just bad. It's it's not good. You, you, if you find a place that's really nice, which I think is probably the golf course, that's it. And I think it's probably because of all the robots that are protecting the place there. Now you have two garages, the truck, I mean they did one heck of a job pulling in extremely close while backing this truck up into the garage area. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the entrance way, which is right here. Now again, the wall is busted out. I mean, it's like that everywhere guys. Okay, we have a tool chest here with some duct tape in it, adjustable wrench. We have some aluminum scraps right here. We have the tool board right here. I guess you would have more items there. There's the first aid, which is empty. Probably already picked up. You can't pick up the lamp. There's some cabinets, some waste. And then, of course, you have the Tinkerer's workbench right here where you can make, you could bulk items, you can make ammo if you have the material. You have a crate here with some ale in it. Would you like some ale? And then over here in the corner, we have, uh, there's some loose gears, a lead pipe, another crate. And back over here inside this, yellow box container you have some wood scraps as well as concrete scraps protect your hands oh wait wait there was a, another poster over here hang on let's uh let's see what this said what does this say it beats the silent er, it beats the sound of silence protect your ears okay yeah that's that's wise oh wait we have something over here on this table now there might have been some stuff here and as well on top we do have some aluminum scraps down there oh at the door look at the door there was some wood here and fire extinguisher you can take but the traffic cone you can't pick that up the roof is now on the floor now wouldn't that be something if they really include that you could step on stuff that you know I'm talking about all of this if you step stepped on this and it it hurts you you know I do know they have traps floor traps that you could put up but you know okay we still have some wood pile here and this guy right here what happened to you dude 
like someone said, hey, can you reach inside this huge machine and just kind of turn something? Looks like he got his um, hand caught kind of jerked in there now the weird thing about this is you know I got my light on that's blood but it's dried up blood because he's already dead like he's a skeleton I'm pretty sure that would be dust and I'm gonna assume this is a wood splitter it looks kind of like one you know uh, am I for sure no 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 I'm not for sure on this but uh, yeah that's it he's He's done. Now, that might be Gilman right there. I, I don't know. I don't see anything on him to identify his body. Now, of course, you have some switch here, which is really nice. I like how that kind of looks. And then I guess it would just be that. Like, the wood splitter here would, would toss out the wood. Maybe. I have no idea. And then that's it. It just kind of like... That's it. So maybe this was an open way right here. And then they split the wood. They bring it out here. You know, that that could be it. I I think. Mm -mm, it's weird. All right. That's it. That is it for this facility, guys. For this one area over here, we're going to go ahead and go to the building next door and then check that out. I'm just going to go ahead and go through the entranceway like, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. A nice, cool-looking building. I mean, I don't know if anyone is going to try to mock this and then try to make it in a game. It looks like a, an easy build to make for those who might be interested. Now, I do know they have Fallout in Minecraft, so, you know... For those who really, really want to, like, build their own Fallout 76 in that game, good luck. Okay, let's see. Now, again, I think this is just kind of like a storage place right here. We have some tires. You can't get anything from this. There's a couple of, of plants. Again, some more tires. Some more wood that you can collect. Now you can build your camp around here. It's a nice location for those who are who might be interested in building. It does have a some water resources here in the back. And a boat. Yeah, a boat in that little tiny small pond looking thing. I why? I don't know. Let's let's get into camera mode. See if we can see a better shot of this. Yeah, it's it's hang on, I gotta look up, I gotta go up, and then I gotta look down. So it does have some water here. There's a couple of floaties there, a boat. Why a boat? I have no idea. Maybe someone just wanted to just relax. But if someone were to build a camp here, you do have some water resources that you can collect. And then, of course, you have all the lumber that you can get, all the wood. Now, the items in these facilities, they do regenerate. But again, sometimes it's different. Other people see things in a crate differently than their friends or maybe someone going by. But anything that you see out in the open, again... Once someone comes by and grabs it, if it's out in the open, then it disappears from your end and you can't grab it. And when someone comes running through and they start grabbing everything, then that's it. You, they basically take all the stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a look, closer look at this. Now, we have a little bit of blood leaves that you can collect and a nice little boat with a dude in it. He's just kind of like chill mode right now. Now there is something back here. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Hang on. I'm going to take that. It's food. Now is the is the place very deep? Is this is this a deep pond? Um, 
I don't know. But let's go ahead and check it out. Um, kinda. It's kinda deep. It's radiated. Pretty bad. I, I, let's see, can I see underneath here? Okay, there we go. So yeah, it, it is a little bit on the shallow side. Now, do I normally do this? No, I don't. I don't. But um, for the sake of the video, I will go ahead and, and get there. Whoa! What happened to you, dude? Someone was skinny dipping. They got drunk. A lot of wine and just said, you know what? This is a good place to die. Now, it looks like they might have just got knocked out and then that was it. I, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and go all the way around here. Again, the fence over here or... Uh oh Wait a minute, that was a cat. Oh, it's a cat. Hey, little guy. What's up? He's like, no. Ooh, and took off. Be careful. There are big old ticks around here. Just FYI. Now, over here, the fence is gone. So I don't quite know how large this area, gated area, is. Now, I don't really see too much over here. They do have some more stuff over on this side. A couple of barrows. There's a door right here going inside there. Again, I don't know. I mean, there's a fence here, and it, it kind of goes past this walkway, which, again, is where that little pathway to, from Vault 76, it kind of swings past here. So you do come across this, and, of course, you are tempted to go and check it out. Now, that guy who showed up, he just blew up all these cars over here. I guess he didn't have anything to do at the time. Now, players do like to do runs on certain facilities. And when I mean runs, I mean they will go and gather all sorts of resources at that one place and then take off. Alright, so now we're back at the entranceway. Let's go ahead and go inside. Let's go into camera mode and see what we can see. Let me go ahead and jump up here. Alright, hold on. Camera mode again. Alright, so we have two staircases kind of going up to, I guess it would be like a miniature loft up here. Just right in the middle. Why that would be there, I don't know. I have no idea. Now, the entranceway down there kind of goes over there in the corner to the right. And then it is a really small storage facility for a lot of lumber and everything like that. Okay. Now, you can't collect anything off of this or or this for some reason. Not quite sure. Well, again, you know, the other guy was here. He probably went through most of the stuff. Okay, so we have a case here on top of the loader machine. Now you can't drive any of the vehicles. It would be kind of cool if you did, but you know what would happen. People would be driving all over the place. Oh, we have someone down here just dead. Look like they're grabbing themselves. Um, I don't know if there was anything in there. There might have been. There's some more wood that you can gather from this little pile right here. Let's uh, Let's go ahead and go this way. We have a med kit that is gone. We have some more, um, a tool board right here. I know it's telling me you're suffering from dehydration. I know that. 
Everybody knows it. Okay, right here in the middle. There's nothing under the stairs. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. There is a lantern here. There's another tool chest. Um, another wooden crate that you can get some stuff. We have some wood piles here that you can collect from. Now let's let's see if there's anything kind of like really... No, 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 no. It doesn't look like there's anything tucked away in that area. And then it kind of just goes this way. You have another med kit here. First aid kit. Emergency medical kit. Um, that's not a crate. It's just decorative things. And again, you have some wood over this way that you can collect. Doesn't look like... Let's see. Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything else that you can pick up. What does this sign say? Protect your hands! Okay, so let's go ahead and go upstairs and check that place out. See what we can see up here. The electricity in this area does work. Now, the times I've been here, there have been stuff on the drums. But again, this place has been just cleaned out. Let's look over this way. We have an ammo box, a lantern, and then we have a, a foot locker right there. We have a beer bottle. Now, when you come across stuff like this, you might accidentally mistake beer bottle as beer. Um, that's not the case. What a beer bottle means is just an empty bottle. You have to look for something that just says beer or the just the name. If it says anything like the bottle, then most likely it's just glass. We have some wooden crates over here. We have two of them. And then it kind of goes out into the roof. I know my light is still on. I do apologize. Um, there's nothing on the roof. Uh, as many times as I've been here, I have not seen anything on the roof. So there's nothing here. Let's go ahead and go to the other side and check that out. No. Nope. Just, just kind of empty. Just really empty. Okay, now I don't think there's anything on the very top, but just to be sure. Let's go ahead and go into camera mode and check it out. And I do need to save the video, so hold on just a minute. Ooh, my heart is beating. Hang on, they're, they're about to kill me because I'm not drinking anything. They're like, you know what? You don't want to drink anything? Then we're going to take your life away. Fine, fine. Hold on, hold on. Um, how about this? I'll drink that. Does that sound good? Ooh, that gave like a little weird sound. Um, I, I honestly don't want to eat that. Hang on. Do I have any water? I have dirty water. That's going to radiate me really bad, but you know what? Desperate times. All right, fine. Hang on. Let me Let me do this. Let me get rid of that, and let me take this, then let me drink the dirty water. Here we go. That kind of prevents me from getting radiated too bad. It's always best when you have to eat something that you know is going to be radiated, that you would either have a Rad X or a Rad X diluted that. And then it'll prevent you from getting too bad when you have to eat bad food. Which I have in this game all the time. Why? It's not because I'm lazy. It's because I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And I can't find anything. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the roof. Nope, it does not see. Now, now when it shakes like that, I can only go so far in camera mode. That's the thing. No, it doesn't look like there's anything on the roof at all. Okay. And that's it, guys. Now, I hope this video helps. 
for those who are interested in exploring this place and checking it out again I do apologize you know some of these videos are gonna be getting a little tougher as time goes on only because the facilities that I'm going to be going in will be a little bit more on the difficult side due to the monsters or maybe the fact that a player has went there and just grabbed a hold of everything I don't know I have no idea whoa disappearing no idea at all but I'll try my best to make as many videos as I can in this game alright and I think that's it I think we are done checking out this place now that player they just blew up everything that was out here the cars will explode there's some stuff you can grab there it will explode if um, you light them up but this is not like you know seven days to die because if it was you could have a ranch and you could dig into these cars and break them down for materials and everything like that but no no it, d it doesn't have that it it would be kind of cool if you could do that but no but anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. There is like a bus over this way. And hang on, let's, let's go check it out before I take off and end the video. And we have one passenger. What is this down here? What is that? Hang on, I cannot see it. What is this? It is... That is just the bottle. It's not the actual drink. Oh, look at that! A beer hat. I'm not going to pick that up. What is this? A pack of cigarettes. Some more empty beer bottles. Dude's just in chill mode. He's like, I give up. I quit. I'm done. I ain't going to do it no more. Just going to stay here and die. The bus looks pretty good I mean it's not that bad it's alright looking you know oh thank you for dropping me off here at the Gilman lumber mill I have to go to work I'll see you later see you later scooter dude in the back and everyone else who is watching alright I'm gonna get in the video I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it helps for those who are interested again hang on Ugh. All right. Well, this is Comanche Native, and I'll see you next time.